Hello everyone, I'd like to start off by wishing you all a happy new year for 2024 and also I would like to thank you all for your constant support during 2023 since the game's release, especially all the active members of the community. Thank you so much. So let's do a quick recap of 2023 and what was achieved in that year. Starting off with the first update, focusing on the various pain points mentioned by the community. For example, performance, as well as various pathfinding issues regarding the harvester and various other fixes and improvements that we just generally needed at the time. Next on the agenda was the introduction of base defenses in the form of outposts and turrets, leading up to the introduction of the air units. This transformed the battlefield from ground only to ground and air. After that, the focus shifted to various balancing and gameplay tweaks, including the addition of a unit cap, as well as the introduction of various units that you start off with in later stages of the game. Lastly, we introduced dedicated server support, which allows server hosting without the performance impact of rendering and so on. This means the experience is overall much smoother compared to when players host it themselves. Overall, 2023 was quite a wild ride. So let's have a look at what's coming in 2024. Continuing into 2024, the current pain points that have been mentioned in reviews as well as in the community are performance, AI, and balancing. These will be addressed throughout the entirety of 2024. The original planned release date of Silica 1.0 was for May 2024, this year. However, we've decided to move it back to Q4 2024 to ensure a smooth experience for all. The beginning of the year will be especially busy with the following list of features due for release in Q1 2024. The Alien Queen as the main unit of the aliens. The hover bike for quick transportation without using teleportation. A rework of respawn mechanics. Capture points such as bunkers and other points of interest. AI collision avoidance. VoIP, including proximity chat. The second quarter of 2024 will focus on quality of life improvements with the following features being added. RTS improvements such as attack move and so on. A rework of the UI to improve usability. A multiplayer matchmaking system based on skill and rank. New maps featuring additional biomes. The third quarter of 2024 will see a focus shift towards full release of the game. Work on full localization will commence. Save and continue will be added as a feature. The addition of tutorials will make it easier for new players to get into the game. For strategy, customization of infantry loadout is also planned. The final quarter leading up to release will focus on features related to modding and polish. General quality of life improvements such as wind loose screens will be added. The distinction between Sol and Centauri, including units and structures, will be added in this quarter. An editor-like sandbox game mode will be implemented to allow for playing around with what the game has to offer. Existing game modes will be finalized and polished. So that's the roadmap for this year. I'd once again like to tremendously thank you all for your support and I hope 1.0 meets your expectations. There's a lot to look forward to and uh, please take care. So, see you on Bolterus.